Well, my friends, here we are again as we look back on the last nine shows and see where we are with LA's Land of Za. This round of pizzerias was a very mixed bag. I had to go through quite a few duds to get to the really good stuff. Tony's Pizza in San Marino is a busy pizzeria featuring their take on New York style pizza. Despite having a variety of slice options available and a lot of regular customers, their pizza misses the mark and was more like upscale frozen pizza than proper New York style. That's false advertising that, man. Santa Monica Pizza Kitchen in Santa Monica is a little place that, like many pizzerias these days, has been reduced to grab-and-go only due to the pandemic. The slices I got were very pleasing to the eye yeah. and looked pretty solid, yeah. but they tasted subpar oh, no. you kidding me. and reminded me of generic franchise pizza. The Slice and Pint in El Segundo specializes in micro-brews and New York-style pizza and is the perfect place for grabbing a slice and a pint. The pizza had an amazing crust and while the cheese slice was a bit dry, the pepperoni slice was near perfect and one of the best I've ever had. So good. Pizza. Abbott's Pizza Company in Venice Beach is a tiny pizzeria, specializing in thin crust pizzas ranging from gourmet vegetarian and vegan to old school classics like pepperoni. They also offer bagel toppings on their crust, which sounds delicious, but unfortunately wasn't available on their cheese and pepperoni slices that day. But even if it was, I don't think it would have saved this overtopped, improperly cooked mess that left me disappointed with nothing much to enjoy. Milo SRO Pizza in Santa Monica is a really slick looking pizzeria that blends in nicely with this artsy part of town. The SRO stands for Standing Room Only and aside from a few seats along the window, is pretty much all grab and go. Their slices were very big, perfectly reheated, and tasted delicious. My only gripe was that it was pretty greasy, and that made the crust much less crispy than it should have been. What are you doing? I'm blotting the grease. It's the best part. LBK Pizza in Studio City is another grab-and-go pizzeria, serving Brooklyn and Neapolitan-influenced pizza available by the slice. While I was unable to get cheese or pepperoni, I did get the next best thing with a margarita slice, a diavola slice, and a slice with sausage for good measure. They weren't very big, but they were all very delicious, especially the crispy, chewy crust and yummy sausage. Dang, that looked good! Foolproof Pizza is a New York-style pizzeria that for the moment is operating out of the Lodge Bread Company in Culver City after 5 p.m. on certain nights of the week. Their pizza is absolutely amazing. They only sell whole pies, but with pizza this delicious, you're going to be glad you have some slices left over for sharing. Oh, who am I kidding? Mine! 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 R2! Mine! Out in Artesia, we have Brooklyn's Pizza, a cool pizzeria welcoming you with an assortment of delicious looking pizzas available by the slice. The two blazing hot slices I got looked good and tasted all right, but the greasiness was out of control. And while Milo may have rode the line on acceptable levels of greasiness, yep. Brooklyn's went way past that. Oh, come on! 
and unfortunately, all that grease just overshadowed everything else. Oh, bleh. Secret Pizza LA is a new pop-up pizzeria operating out of an apartment in Hollywood. They're making authentic, full-size New York-style pies for advanced ordering, and you have to follow them on Instagram to know when spots open up. I was fortunate enough to get one, and the pizza was super delicious, and pretty spot-on New York-style pizza. It's hard to believe they made this in an apartment. Just amazing. It's delicious. So there you go, guys. Another five pizzerias to add to LA's land of Za. Help me out, guys. What am I missing? Is it time to branch out to some other areas? I do hear Long Beach has some good New York pizza. What about Anaheim, Malibu, San Diego? Or does LA have a few more goodies still to offer us? Stay tuned to find out more. If you have tried any of the pizzerias mentioned, let me know what you thought of them in the comments. And if you know of a place I should try next, be sure to let me know that too. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time on Two Slice Challenge.